Well, among the new term LGBTQIA2S plus exists asexual people. Now, what does that mean? Honestly, I, I, I don't know. I don't have any idea. Merriam-Webster defines asexual as people who, quote, not having sexual feelings towards others, not experiencing sexual desire or attraction. Now, apparently, this is an entire class of people that believing they're being underrepresented right now. One person in particular has been advocating for their rights and received a storm of hate comments after making this tweet saying, quote, asexual people deserve equal rights. We deserve legal recognition. We deserve protection. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I'm open to any and all conversations on literally any topic. So joining me now is that same woman, the tweet Yasmin Benoit, asexual advocate, model and writer. Um, Yasmin, I pre appreciate you joining us. Uh, so I, I, I let me just come out, what is an asexual? Being asexual means experiencing little to no sexual attraction towards anyone, regardless of their gender. Okay. Um, so, in, and that obviously falls into this, this new umbrella of the LGBT movement and things like that. So you would express that they're being underrepresented and maybe don't have the same, you know, treatments as some of the people in the rest of the community. What are some of those specifically that you're talking about? Well, in the UK, we aren't included in the UK Equality Act 2010. We aren't recognized as a sexual orientation, which of course has a knock-on effect to other areas where people would usually be protected by the Equality Act. We're also still a pathologized orientation in the International Classification of Diseases over here, which is also um, used throughout Europe. Um, we were also pathologized in the DSM that you use over there in the U.S. And consequently, um, the National LGBT Survey 2018 found that we're 10 percent more likely to be offered or to undergo conversion therapy compared to other orientations. And yet our government over here does not want to include us in the ban on conversion therapy. So that's what I was talking about. So so the 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 act is like the the what was the act called again? The UK Equality Act. The UK Equality Act. So you're looking for, for obviously equal treatment under there. But what do you have as a an asexual person or what, what specific rights do you not have as an asexual person? And I don't know UK law, I'll admit that. Um, but do you not have there that you that everybody else does have? Like, there, is there something specific? Yeah, well, nowadays, if you were, for example, a gay man, people would not try and cure you for that. It is perfectly okay to try and cure asexual people and try to make them straight. That is still a perfectly legal thing, and it's part of our medical system right now, and that's impacting a lot of people. Similarly, if you had, if you were gay, for example, and you were to experience a hate crime, your sexual orientation is recognized as a sexual orientation, and you would be able to complain about that. Things would be done about that, hopefully. Um, but that's not the same for asexual people. If something happens and there really isn't a lot that we can do about it because so, we aren't recognized under the Equality Act. So, Yasmin, and again, I appreciate you coming on to answer some of these questions. But, you know, if you're if, if let's say me, I'm having a conversation with you, I convince you that, hey, I, you know, I think you should try, you know, having a companion or being romantic or, or spending time with someone. It, it would that was that just that's my opinion saying, hey, look, I'm married. Why? Why don't you try it? Would that be considered hate? Um, no, it would be uh, something you're not really in the place to say, but I wouldn't count that as hate. Um, it would just be a strange comment. I actually have a lot of companions, so you don't need a sexual companion to have a companion. Okay. So, you know, there was, you wrote this article that says, uh, quote, I'll never fall in love and that's okay. What it means to be aromantic. Don't you think you're missing out on a basic human connection here though, to a to, to certain extent? I have so many human connections. I have some incredibly deep long-term relationships. It doesn't have to be romantic to be a okay. deep long-term relationship. All right. And and where did this asexual thing come from? Because, I mean, like, I, I know plenty of people that, you know, just don't have a female or male or opposite sex or whatever sex companion. Um, and, and that's okay. Like, I don't classify them as asexual. What makes someone who just doesn't do that to someone who actively chooses not to? Well, if you're choosing not to have sex, that could just be being celibate. That could be abstaining from sex. Asexuality is a type of sexual orientation. I was born asexual. I have stayed asexual. And that's just part of my makeup. And it isn't something new. Asexuality has been included within queer theory since the 1800s. It's just that people have only just started noticing. 
Okay, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm actually still, look, always great conversation, but I, I'm still struggling to understand how this is a thing. And I don't understand why it would be its own category if it's, if it's put part of, you know, a larger movement. Why does it have to be its own category? Why, why is it uh, that you are standing up specifically for these rights? Well, why wouldn't it be its own category? It's a type of sexual orientation. It's not just, oh, you're attracted to men, you're attracted to women, and that's it. There's more to it than that. But, we're equally as defined by what we're not attracted to as we are by what we are attracted to. And so it falls under the acronym. But arguably, it's the absence of a sexual orientation. So therefore, shouldn't it just be like with me? Like, I'm a norm normal guy married to a woman. Like, is it, shouldn't it just fall under, like, any other category? What other category? Like, I mean, does it have to fall under the LGBTQ umbrella or can you just say, hey, look, I'm a citizen, I do my thing and that's that? I am a citizen and I do my thing and I have a sexual orientation and I'm not straight, therefore it falls under the umbrella. Hmm. Okay, well, there you have it, Yasmin Benoit, or Benoit, sorry, I appreciate you coming on. And I'll <laughs> admit I still am t not totally clear on what's going on, but you know what? We always appreciate the conversation. Thanks for having me. All right, thank you.